Friday, week 13, the ass end of week number 13. Uh, probably at least two months of fasting. I really wish I would have kept track of that. And I was 240 yesterday, but I did come home yesterday and punish a shit ton of food. I'm starving right now. Um, so let's see where I'm at. Oh shit. <laughs> I was 240 yesterday. There's no way. There's no way. Oh shit, Joe. You gotta. Okay, now it's going down a little bit. 243. Damn, did I eat? It was that damn cereal, I bet you. Yeah, it was. Alright, now remember this phone weighs a pound. So let me do it without the phone. And I am 243. Hmm. Hit you with the Marty Bird right there. Well, that's unusual. 242.2 though. Okay, there we go. You better drop a pound off of there. One more time for good measure. 242.2. Yeah, I punished a little bit yesterday. And I ran today. And I worked out. I was gluttonous yesterday. But still on the low 240, so... I'm happy with that. I'll be sticking my finger down my throat a little later today. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Good morning. What's going on, everybody? Friday morning as I begin this from the kitchen. A place I need to try to be avoiding right this second because I sure am hungry. And I put on two pounds. I, it was all that cereal I was eating yesterday for sure. Uh, so we don't have rain in the forecast right this second. Alexa, what's the weather looking like? Currently, in Chesapeake, it's 64 degrees Fahrenheit with fog. Today, you can expect some sun and thunderstorms, with a high of 77 degrees and a low of 64 degrees. Informative. Did you know, I have tips on cleaning and sanitizing. Bitch, I didn't ask you about tips on cleaning and sanitizing. I asked you for the fucking weather. Sorry, something went wrong. Yeah, it did, Siri. Yeah, it did. Or Alexa. Sorry, I called you the wrong, the wrong name. Oh, shit. But anyways. Uh, with the fact that it's not raining and it's supposed to be raining, that's that shit I don't like. Uh, because I don't want to go out to the landscape, but guess what we got to. We were going out there anyways. Had to, at the very least, go pick up my Sanford and Son other trailer and go dump that. So that's what we're getting ready to do. Damon's already outside waiting on me. He just got here. I wanted to film this little intro right quick first. Hey, did I tell you guys we got a P.O. box for Joe Does Stuff? Shout out to that. That could be a really cool thing if you guys you know, feel so inclined to want to send something, hey, there's a way to be able to do so. Uh, what else? If it's not raining out on the landscape, we're probably going to go shovel some dirt around, and we need to. We need to get ahead of that because the weather is going to be shitty for the next couple of days, and next week, the only good day, well, the weather's not going to get better until Tuesday. Well, Tuesday is the only day that I'm going to have to get out on the landscape job because Wednesday... Me and my wife are taking a little vacay. Just something, uh, something small. We're going to our parents. We're going back down to Mississippi. And we ain't been down there forever. And flights are $3,000. Uh, so we said, fuck that. We driving. We got a rental car. And we're going to take you guys along on that little adventure. You saw the other road trip that we went on where we didn't even go all that far. And how that turned into some interesting stuff, I guess. So I'm sure... Taking this road trip with my wife will be just as entertaining. At least I'm going to make it that way. Anyways, what else do I need to share with you guys? I'm two pounds heavier today. Still is just as hungry. And getting ready to get the show on the road. We're going to go get the dump trailer. We're probably going to move some dirt around. Damon don't know that yet, but that's probably what we're going to do. Oh, shit, I forgot. I made some business cards. That printer that I bought where I'm able to make the merch, new merch drop on Sunday, new stickers. I'm gonna treat these stickers like they're NFTs, basically. Um, new stickers are dropping on Sunday. I already got the stickers ready, man. They are exclusive to share uh, a little bit about that, what, what to look forward to. And also the Joe's stickers, they're gonna be going away. I'm gonna be dropping new sticker merch all the time so when they're gone they're gone you ain't gonna be able to get them again and they gonna be throwback so if you got them collect them i'm about to start putting those stickers all over the back of the four to row yeah i am 
I uh, just gotta wait for the weather to improve and get that joint washed and detailed because it's gonna need detailing after all the shit that got spilt in it during our little road trip. But neither here nor there, no big deal. Hey, let's get this day underway. What do you weigh? What are you going to do? There was other shit that I wanted to be able to do today. I really wanted to go explore that house. Not sure that we're going to get a chance to be able to do that. Oh, and by the way, how could I have even forgotten? Yo, I just filmed a video for the first time in a long time for APS. So check that out if you haven't. By the time you're seeing this video, that video will have been released yesterday. So hopefully that works out. Anyways, let's get the show on the road. Good day to you. Good morning. It's about 9 o'clock in the morning. The sun is shining. The shovel's going to be moving. That wheelbarrow's going to be moving so long as it's not mud out there. Let's go make it happen. Happy Friday, y'all. Rise and grind. Time to go to work. All right, so, you know, it's fucking beautiful outside today, which, of course, the weather wasn't calling for that. They need to drug test the weatherman. That's the first thing that I want to say. So we're leaving from the Ford Aru up in the Dodge Aru. Make sure she locked, because I didn't leave this thing locked. Thank God. There's nothing to take in here. Um, so we're going to go out to the landscape job. If it's not a mud bog out there, we will move some dirt around. we got to move the dirt around. And um, i got two pounds i got to burn. So we'll do that if we can. If we can't, we're just going to go grab the trailer. We're going to go dump the trailer and get that up off of the property. Um, and then take it from there. There's some other things that we could do, but we'll see. So, we're riding. And it's beautiful. The birds are chirping. It feels like a fucking Eminem song. However, that's whatever that song was. All right. Let's get the show on the road and go, go, go move some mountains of dirt. Check out our grass. That shit has sprung up. Yeah, it has. Look at that. I don't know if this camera is really going to do justice to just how much grass we got coming in here. But we got a lot. All new growth. All new growth all through here. May not look like much right now, but that's a lot of little single blades. A lot of little single blades of grass. Springing up over here pretty decent. Yeah, I know you really can't see it. I need to check over here. Yep, it's starting to spring up. You really can't see it. It's starting to come up. This is our real good spot right here. So this spot's filling in nice. This was a super bare spot, but she got a lot of little growth taking place. You hear Damon in the background moving that shovel, spreading dirt, and I'm wheelbarreling it. So we're getting it. Here's another spot with a lot of little bitty blades, a lot of little blades of grass. Yeah, man. Only took two weeks for it to start growing. Here, go hold that. Holy shoo, boy, my back is hurt, 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 hurt. Damn, man, hey. What time did we get out there? We got out there at about 10.30, 10 something. I know we got out there at 10 something. And it's 12.10 now, we're leaving. Huh? Oh, 12.10 now, we're leaving. And we, we weren't even out there two hours, maybe two hours. And in those two hours, man, we moved the uh, all get out of some dirt. Um, six yards of dirt, we almost moved the whole damn thing. Probably a yard, two yards left at the most. Would have moved the whole damn thing if two things. One, we would have known where to move all of it. I tried to get the homeowner uh, to let me know, but she must have been busy. So we didn't get any clarification on what she wanted to do with the extra dirt because originally the game plan was to take the extra dirt and put it in the sections that we seeded. But guess what, folks? 
the grass is growing growing like a summer gun i don't know if you're gonna be able to see it from this footage right here but i filmed a little bit while we were out there and yo we got all sorts of grass grass sprouting up so when i went and knocked on the homeowner's door um one i wanted to find out where to put the extra dirt at and two i wanted to say hey yo we got some grass we got a lot of grass we got at least a good 40 percent 30 percent coverage coming in right now it's only gonna get better that shit's sprouting up like a wildfire so good deal with that second thing that held us up was you know it's thundering it's getting it's getting ready to be raining uh we just made these flower beds we put all this dirt in these flower beds and um the rain's probably gonna wash that shit right out of there hopefully it doesn't hopefully them gutters do their job if them gutters do their job then we're, we're good hopefully um, also shout out to damon damon busted ass i mean right along with me two hours just straight grinding once that thunder came in damon was already tired as a bitch i said hey look man i don't want to tell you but we got to work even harder and faster and sure as shit damon just be doing that shit man right along with me i ain't gonna ask him to do nothing that i don't do for the most part there's a couple things i don't really like to do on the roof under the house those really ain't my two fortes i'll do both but i don't like either one but damon will tell you i was wheeling that dirt warner probably took 20 loads of dirt in that big ass wheelbarrow we got i don't know how much that wheelbarrow holds but it holds a fair amount so very happy with the fact that we got most of the dirt moved there'll still be some dirt for us to move on tuesday when we go back out there but man we got we got most of it out of there um hope we did a good job i hope we did a good job hope you like what we did and uh oh damn i almost hit that bird thank god he got out of the way uh now the weather's changing on us it didn't stay it didn't stay sunny very long while we were there it did stay hot as a bitch it was a little smoking on us while we were out there but weather changed within about 30 45 minutes started getting cloudy and then that thunder started coming in and ain't doing no more ain't got nothing more we could have done we did as much as we could do right there in those two hours we moved about four yards of soil we put it in the new area she planted and we put it in the two flower beds that we knew about but the only other place to put it was either in the flower beds that we dug up in the middle of the yard with the stump grinder which is probably where it's going to end up going however i don't really want to do it without clarification and also i.e rain coming in so we're not mess not damn slow down joe there was no need for the ie um, the rain's coming in couldn't get in contact with the homeowner she might have thought i wanted some money today it is friday that wasn't what it was you know i was originally just gonna give damon a half a day for today but i'm gonna give you a whole day today just because that's how i had it set up two days of labor i'm not gonna shortchange you especially especially when you be fucking grinding right there along with me man we you know hey we could have we could have definitely benefited from a third wheel on that job Oh, yeah. Take a hey, take a breather, man. Hey, let me get let me get some air, let me get some air real quick. But nah, man, it's Damon and I. We be getting. You might as well go get out there. Get out there. What are you doing? Oh my God, man! This chick done pulled all the way out, then backed up to just to let me go. You should have went. I wasn't gonna hit you. Good for her though. Somebody else not paying attention would have t-boned the shit out of her. So we're gonna hit the dump real quick. Hopefully the dump's not gonna be busy. It's Friday. It's 12.15, it's lunchtime. And inclement weather is on the way. Damon says he doesn't think the dump's gonna be busy. I'm telling you right now, this mug is gonna be slammed. Watch what I tell you. And it's probably fucking residential dumping day. Cause it always seems to be every time we go there. Sure wish that other dump was closer. I tell you what. All right, to the dump, to the dump, to the dump, dump, dump. You ain't never gonna believe this, right? <laughs> never gonna believe this. Got a train crossing on our way to the dump. We are on probably one of the busier roads in this area, and it's lunchtime. Matter of fact, it's 1227. Dude, people gotta be back from lunch. 
they about to lose their job because of this freaking train. And you know, you know you ain't got no luck in the world unless it's a train crossing in a place that a train never crosses and that bitch look like it's slowing the fuck down. And we just pulled into a guardrail section so I can't jump the curb if I wanted to do that, which I've done a few times in the past. Uh, man, we can't never win for losing when it comes to going somewhere. <laughs> That's what it seems like at least. I can't really see. My eyes ain't too good. Damon, show, show up there. Try to zoom in and see that train slowing down, creeping by. I mean, if you need to focus, you can touch and run the screen to focus. Yeah, Damon, Damon on the camera. Shout out to Damon. Yeah, it's with not them, picking it up. It's too far away. With them zooms. Yep, it's coming to a slower stop. It's getting ready to stop. Thunder's coming in. Landscape customer won't even talk to us. Shit, we got, hey, it's one of them days already. So I guess what I'll do is I'll use this train time to respond to a comment. If I can find this comment, I know I can't find this comment. Comments. I don't get a lot, I, I don't get a ton of comments on Joe Does stuff, so I may be able to find this one comment that I wanted. <laughs> that I wanted to uh, respond to. Here's one right here, this motherfucker says, typical YouTuber begging for money. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about the channel perks and the memberships and the merch. Uh, you know, it's not like I ain't out here fucking busting my ass toting six yards of soil or nothing like that, but you know, whatever. Uh, that's not the comment that I was looking for. Hey Preston, hey shout out to you. You're a new channel member, speak of the devil. I see you right there, man. Let me go ahead and heart your comment. Um, Sandy and another new newer member not sure if I've given you a shout out or not where is this comment at um, and I know you guys say that all I do is respond to the bad comments I really ain't trying to do that but this one this one really caught me this one really caught me it was in relation to you know what all I gotta do is go to the video it was in relation to the last video, which is two videos ago. We had to take a trip to help somebody. Sandy says when it hits, it hits all at once, doesn't it? Sandy, you're absolutely right about that. Oh, guess what? Oh, the train's moving. Oh. Uh, okay, well, I can't find the comment, but I, I remember what it was. It was short and sweet and to the point. Uh, somebody had said, and, and it's starting to rain. Yes! <laughs> we got the trifecta now. Somebody said, expects respect, but doesn't give respect. <laughs> expects respect, but doesn't give respect. We literally went to go help a family member who had fallen on peril in hard times, moved them, pulled off of the landscape job in an effort to do that, uh, you know, got Damon working with me. Try to keep him working as often as I possibly can. Uh, we worked two hours today. I'm gonna give him a whole day for today. Uh, the least that I can do. Expects respect, but doesn't give respect. To you, kind sir, who made that comment. I know. Uh, you don't know what you're talking about. You, you, you're talking about nonsense. Expects respect, but doesn't give respect. I give plenty of respect where respect is due to the law enforcement who were in our way uh, because of police union week or whatever it was. Hey, more power to them. I edited out the part where I said, fuck the police and this is bullshit. So I didn't share that. I didn't share that part in the video. Um, so to the person that left that comment, I think that you've got me a little misunderstood and that's all I want to say on that. I'm not going to disrespect you because I am, a, I am trying to be more of a respect fool person. I am a very respectable person. I like to believe, but maybe everybody believes that. Uh, and maybe a lot of us aren't very respectable. Maybe you just opened Pandora's box with that comment. I, I don't necessarily know. But anyways, uh, the rain's here now. The train's gone. And now we're sitting here fighting a bunch of traffic trying to get to the dump. And it's a bunch of traffic. So we'll get to the dump. We'll get even more soaked. But we'll get the trailer unloaded and call it a day. What do you say?
Got a new lady working up here. She's drinking a diet ginger ale. Hey, I'd be fucking with diet ginger ale. I didn't even know they made that shit. The fuck is she going? Guerrero. It's right here. Whoa. You guys busy up here? Not really. <laughs> That's what they call it. It's not a residential day, so. Perfect. That's all I wanted to hear. Yeah, me too. You're gonna need your card on that side when you come through, okay? Thank you. Alright. Expect respect doesn't give respect. Boy, let me tell you something. Why it took a lot right there for me to be respectful, but I was. Kind of. That lady looked at me like I was crazy when I asked if they were busy. She looked at me like, I'm like, yo, man, I'm just, and then I got this guy up here that was giving me the stink eye too, the trailer that pulled in in front of us. So, uh, you know, what are you going to do? But they're not busy though, so that's a plus. Damon was right. I like when Damon's right. Put me right next to that guy that gave me the stink eye, please. So I could say, good day to you, sir. What a mighty fine dump trailer you have there. What a mighty fine dump trailer. Now I sound like a hater. Well, I mean, you did tell him he had a piece of shit when he was cut in front of us. I did tell him that. I, I did say that. I did say that. Damon, you ain't got to put everything out there. <laughs> He's got a lawn and tree care service too. That's one of them guys like I'd like to go. <laughs> Remember I was talking about doing the video where I uh, have like the broke down weed eater. Oh yeah. It, make it a skip video pull up on like his job, but like right out in the street. And I'm like, I got like a station wagon and a broke down weed eater and then hire somebody to come by and be like, hey, you cut grass? You cut grass? I absolutely do. Right in front of somebody like that guy. But that's just being disrespectful. All right, uh, you can put the camera down, uh, Damon. We, we're done filming for the time being. Let's hope for sunny, sunny days. Is what we're hoping, for. proverbially. All right, leaving from the dump. Uh, gas lights on. <laughs> Twenty bucks to dump. And uh, we got in and out of there real quick, man. So that was good. Anytime that you can do that, that is what you hope for. So the rain has definitely started. You can tell by my booty fucking windshield wipers. And now we can wrap up this day. Um, I think that that was everything. Nothing else really going on. We were going to go out to flip four and go do a couple of uh, pre-inspection things. There's, some, there's something under the house that we gotta go do. We're gonna end up doing that tomorrow. Hopefully the weather's gonna hold out for us to do that. And, no, oh, well fuck it, I'll go ahead and tell you what it is. I, I guess I've kept this kind of a, a secret, right? And not really a secret, I just haven't shared it. So here's the deal. Underneath of the house, there is one pier. One pier support on the foundation that somebody decided it would be a great idea to chop out about three quarters of one of the blocks so you've got your couple of blocks that lead up to your cat block sitting on your concrete footer or whatever that's your pier support right you got a bunch of those under the house um, i think they're every six feet or every eight feet something like that's to code somebody thought it would be a great idea to chop out one of those blocks about three quarters of the block or maybe a third of the block. Maybe two thirds of a block. Because it's right in front of the brick skirt foundation, uh, you know, brick skirt of the house, where in that skirt, there's vents 
because you got you know your airflow underneath of your house your airflow helps to prevent moisture and mold and, and that sort of thing um, somebody thought it would be a great idea to chop out two-thirds of a block because that block was right in front of one of those vents now uh, Damon showed me this a while back and I said to myself man what in the fuck I showed this to my realtor who then said man what in the fuck like who decided this was a great idea I don't know uh, I don't know if this was done during initial construction of this house back in 2000 um, I don't even know if this is okay or not you know this is like playing rock, uh, rock paper scissors here is the rock beating the scissors or is the paper covering the rock and what I mean by that is is it more important to have the airflow from that one vent that was blocked possibly by that pier so we cut out part of the pier is it more important to have the airflow from that vent versus the structural integrity of that pier um, is the structural integrity of that pier compromised because of the fact that of course it is fucking of course it is. and if this was done during initial construction and you ran into this issue why not just put another damn pier there like out of the way so anyways what we're gonna go do is we're gonna go knock off that block we're gonna go knock off that cap block we'll probably put some support to hold shit I, mean, I doubt we're gonna need to but anyways we're gonna go knock that those two blocks off and we're gonna re replace those blocks fuck that vent in my opinion forget that vent because all I can see is a home inspector going under there saying oh this is a flip house look what they did which we didn't do that it was like that and you know I don't need no inspector seeing no shit like that having more reason to say oh my god these motherfuckers had no idea what they were doing they warned us we ain't do that shit but we're damn sure gonna get that repaired and the other thing that we are or fixed corrected I should say and the other thing that I want to do is I want to just spread that insulation where we made that initial repair in the in the bathroom where there was no insulation we've got the insulation so I mean really that's it we're gonna do those two things and uh, be ready for inspection because inspection is soon coming so wanted to share that with you guys uh, that's it for today gonna go ahead and wrap this video up I got a ton of editing to do today got an after prison show video and a video for Joe does stuff as usual per usual Hope you guys enjoyed rocking with us on this thing. If anything, we got out to that landscape and we got two thirds of the way through, if not three quarters of the way through, moving that soil around. So, hell yeah for that. All right, let's get home and let's get home in one piece. Considering we got bad weather and we got no trailer lights. And I don't want to turn my lights on on my truck and make the trailer lights <laughs> I don't want to turn the lights on my truck which you're supposed to have the lights on when it's raining but not us chief not us all right talk with you guys again real soon